The Windows 10 October 2020 update is finally here. We've got everything you need to know about the latest version of the operating system and how it'll help you get things done. You'll find a few big new features and lots of smaller refinements that'll make using your Windows computer a little easier. Let's dig into the update to find out what's new. The first thing you might want to know is how you actually download the October 2020 update. Microsoft will be rolling the update out slowly to devices over the next few weeks, so it may not be available for you just yet. To check, go to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, and click Check for Updates. If available, you'll see Feature Update to Windows 10 version 20H2. Click Download and Install. Another note, you do have to be running Windows 10 version 1903 or later if you want to get this update. If you downloaded the May 2020 update a few months ago, then this one should only take a few minutes to do. But if you didn't, it might take a little bit longer. Once the update is complete, you can start exploring. The biggest change you'll find off the bat is the addition of the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge browser. The new Edge browser includes a privacy feature that can help block sites that track you online. It also has a feature called Collections that lets you more easily gather information from different websites as you're doing research. Another big change comes to the Start menu, which gets a more streamlined design. Instead of the traditional solid color backplates behind the logos in your app list, you'll see partially transparent backgrounds so the icons stand out more. You can also set an accent color if you like. You'll also find some new tab controls. In Edge, you can open all tabs by pressing Alt plus Tab instead of just the active one in each browser window. You can also configure it to show only your last three or five tabs or turn it off completely. Just go to Settings, System, Multitasking. And if you use a two-in-one Windows device, instead of getting an annoying notification asking if you want to switch to tablet mode every single time you detach your keyboard, this will now happen by default. Of course, if none of this impresses you, you don't have to download the Windows 10 October 2020 update. Your computer will keep working the way it has been, but Microsoft does recommend that you do so to keep updated on the latest features and security protections, especially if you're running a version of Windows 10 that's about to reach end of support. The best way to find out what version of Windows 10 you're using is by going to Settings, System, About, and scrolling to Windows Specifications. There you'll find the edition and version number. If you have version 1903, which was released in May 2019, and you want to keep it, you have until December before support ends. Bottom line, it's usually best to update. So there you have it, all of the best features of the new Windows 10 October 2020 update. If you're looking for more Microsoft and Windows 10 news and features, check out CNET.com. We're constantly reviewing and testing out these operating systems and reporting what we find back to you. And I'd love to hear what you're impressed by in this update, maybe what you're not so excited about. Leave me a note in the comments below.